Oh, hello and welcome to uh, our coalition to stop gun violence, Las Vegas to Pittsburgh virtual GOTV for GVP tour with a special bonus episode. We're joined today by Senator Mark Warner of Virginia. Thank you so much, Senator, for joining us. And yeah, thank you and love your Washington Nats hat. <laughs> thank you. Um, so we saw this historic session in the House of Representatives last uh, last session of Congress. Uh, background checks, Charleston loophole, reauthorization of VAWA. Uh, just a lot of stuff passed that went nowhere in your body, the Senate. Um, what would you like to see on the issue of gun violence prevention? I know you've uh, sponsored a bill with your, your colleague from Virginia, Tim Kaine, about taking the laws that they passed in Virginia state legislature to make, it, make them national. But what would you want to see uh, with a uh, Democratic controlled uh, Senate on this issue? Well, Andrew, um, I'm really glad that you guys are doing this to mobilize uh, Americans who are concerned about gun violence to make sure they get out and vote. And particularly if you can get out and vote early as you can in Virginia up to October 31st, I would urge that. And I, and I think at the end of the day, um, let me just tell you that, you know, elections matter. Um, when the Democrats took back the House, um, the, the legislation you talked about, whether it was background checks, closing the Charleston loophole, Violence Against Women Act, um, you know, trying to deal with the boyfriend loophole, all got dealt with in the House because the Democrats took control. Um, for me in Virginia, on a more local basis, uh, back in 2019, finally, uh, the Democrats took control of our House and Senate. And Virginia passed meaningful gun legislation, not as far as, as, as some of us would have liked, uh, but seven separate bills that were all common sense um, gun legislation that will that will slow gun violence. That's why my friend and colleague Tim Kaine and I took those seven bills uh, and we said, let's introduce this as the Virginia plan. Virginia is is uh, uh, not as blue as a lot of states. Um, it was used to be as, as much as 15 years ago, a deeply red state. It's purplish now, um, uh, but it shows what happens when you put sensible legislators in place that things can actually happen. My hope is um, if we could get a democratic majority, because I don't think sensible gun legislation will ever see the light of day as long as Mitch McConnell is the Senate majority leader. But if there was a democratic majority, I think we would see action taken on background checks. I think we would see action taken on the Violence Against Women Act. I think we would see action taken on policing reform, which while not directly related to gun violence is another important issue. You know, on, on issues around assault weapon bans where I support or restrictions on clip size, um, you know, we depend on the size of the democratic majority. But I think once we can show some positive action, um, and show that the gun lobby is not always gonna be successful at killing bills in the Senate, we will build momentum. And at the end of the day, that's so important because as, as we know, I mean, listen, I'm not naive. I, I don't think any particular single piece of legislation is gonna solve all the gun violence in our country. There are obviously issues about mental health, there are needs for red flag laws, there are needs for additional counseling. But if we can prevent one Virginia Tech one Virginia Beach shooting that we had, or one of the horrors of a Sandy Hook or a Pulse nightclub or a Las Vegas, the list goes on and on uh, as, we, as we know, um, then we take a step towards a uh, less violent and, and better America and better world. So uh, that all will be dependent upon um, folks voting. Uh, as somebody who's up, on the, uh, up for re-election this year, I'd urge those of you who live in Virginia to rehire me, but you know, there's an awful lot of swing states if we're looking from Las Vegas to Pittsburgh, there's a lot of states that are in play where there's Democratic candidates that could bring about the kind of sensible gun uh, legislation that we would all want. Yeah, that's what we've been doing, uh, talking to candidates across the country, uh, highlighting this issue, uh, encouraging people to uh, get out the vote uh, in, these, in these efforts. So uh, you're absolutely right. Virginia used to be considered a red state. We saw a massive change on this issue uh, and it is kind of like a microcosm for what's happening in the United States, 90% of people support these policies. So uh, if you put the right legislators in, you'll see action on this, uh, on this uh, to address this epidemic. But please tell our followers what they can do to help get out the vote in your campaign and in Virginia. Well, they can go uh, to markwarnerva.com for, uh, for my race. You can go to mobilize.com 
uh, backslash VA victory. Um, you know, to look particularly more on, on gun safety legislation and gun safety events. You know, we in Virginia now have early voting until October 31st. Uh, I think it's really important um, if you can early vote to do that. Uh, it's, it's very disturbing to me that, you know, when you've got the president uh, potentially urging his supporters to come and potentially intimidate people with long guns, at, at our polling stations. That is not the way uh, that we should be doing things in America. Um, so there's great early vote opportunities as there are in so many states. And so whether you vote early, whether you vote by mail, and I can assure you from many, many visits with postal workers, they're gonna do their job and, and get that mail delivered in a timely fashion. Or if you choose to vote on election day itself, uh, there's a variety of options in Virginia and most states, uh, but the most important thing is make sure your vote is cast. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for making the time, Senator. Uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Best of luck. Uh, keep up the good work. Well, thanks so much. Onward to victory, guys. Thanks. All right.